Hey, uh, what's up guys? This is Halfway, broadcasting from around the world in Phenomenal Pen, Cambodia. Uh, today, guys, we're going to be talking about uh, sustainable relationships uh, with other foreigners when you come here. Uh, so as a foreign teacher especially, uh, the lifespan, I shouldn't say the lifespan, but the time span of how long a uh, expat teacher is generally here probably ranges anywhere from like one or two, maybe three years on average. Uh, now obviously there are people that come and uh, leave much quicker than that, and then there are people that stay much longer than that. Uh, but often, you know, people will be here for one year, two years, maybe three years, and then they either, you know, go back to their home country or they go on to another country to teach uh, or do whatever they're doing. Uh, so for me personally, I've talked about a lot of videos. I don't, I don't really go out that much in terms of like going out to like bars or clubs or like really doing much of anything. Uh, I hang out at home most of the time uh, on the weekdays. Um, and then I'll go out, like me and my girlfriend will go out and we'll take a lot of trips and, uh, you know, see cool stuff. I don't, I don't generally like <clears throat> go out often with like other expats and do more traditional things that a lot of people do. Uh, but that being said, just remember like when you come here, uh, you know, the friends that you might make, uh, especially, you know, other expats are people that maybe they won't be around forever. Um, like I said, like I've, since I've been here, I've had a few friends that have been relatively close. Uh, I had one friend that was very close and then a few that were a little bit close. And you know, they're all gone now. Uh, even at my school, uh, you know, there's a couple other teachers, there's a few other uh, foreign teachers that I, you know, speak with once in a while, go out and hang out with. Um, but again, a lot of them are already making plans to, you know, what's the next part of their journey of life and they're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna be here forever. <clears throat> and not that I necessarily will be here forever, but I have no short-term plan of leaving um, outside of, you know, if something crazy happens here. Uh, but I plan on being here at least, at least maybe five more years, maybe forever, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, I really, really like it here again. I don't, I don't have any intention of leaving here. Even if I did leave here, would I go back to America? I probably wouldn't go back to America. I don't know where I'd go. Uh, I really like it here. Uh, but just that being said, it's just something to think about. Remember, if you're making friends here and you guys are all having a really good time, you know, just remember these people may not be around uh, forever. And, you know, so you might have to cycle through friends sometimes, which sounds weird, but like, you know, you get used to hanging out with a group of people or a friend or two, and then, you know, all of a sudden they're gone, you have to find someone new if you want to hang out with them, and then find somebody new. Um, again, for me, I'm, I'm more of an introverted person anyway, and I just, I just don't go out that much. I have a lot of acquaintances, you know, that I'll speak to and, you know, once in a while do something with. Uh, but again, just keep that in mind. And, I don't know, guys, I guess that's all this video is really about. Just be prepared for that kind of thing. Uh, also, it might pay, then, in that case, if you're someone who plans on staying here for a longer time, if you think, uh, you, if you're making plans, if you haven't been here yet, and you're making a plan, like, hey, I might want to live there for five or ten years, that's cool. Wait till you get here and make sure that you want to stay here. Uh, but if that is your plan, you know, maybe think about making some Kamai friends, because obviously they're probably, there's a very good chance that they're going to be staying here longer. Um, and, you know, as well as, as well as other foreign friends, it's, you know, totally cool, obviously. But try also to make some, uh, you know, maybe Khmer friends, uh, even like their families, like I've spoken about before. Uh, I have one, like, Khmer family that I used to do a lot of stuff with. And it's nice to not even have, like, just the Khmer friend, but like an entire family. Like, it's almost like a little bit of a support system of somebody that's like a local person here uh, that knows more about things than you do. And you know, they can help you out if you need it, or they can give you advice, or give you information, or tell you if you know something is right or wrong, or doesn't seem quite on the level to them, or does quite seem right or wrong. Uh, so I would definitely say I would I would balance your Kamai, or balance your foreign friends also with uh, you know with Kamai friends. All right, guys, this is halfway broadcast around the world. Phenomenal Pen Cambodia. Peace, guys. Peace.